Tattooism is a London-based magazine dedicated to exploring the diverse people, practices, culture and medias that together constitute the present of contemporary tattooing. We believe that questions around what tattooing currently is and what it will become are of necessity interdisciplinary questions, demanding an attention to many different forms of creating outputs taking place at the intersection of tattooing. In addition to exclusive editorials and interviews showcasing some of the finest work in tattooing today, issue 3 of Tattooism builds a new pathway between tattoo, culture, music, design, politics, fashion and fine arts. The text opens with a series of exclusive reviews regarding tattoo-related events, products and publications. The issue begins with an essay on tattooist Chad Koplinger's large format travel log, 50 States, which presents a rich collection of material gathered across Koplinger's 126-day trip across the United States. Next is a review of Berber tattooing in Morocco Middles Atlas, a text by Felix and Loretta Le, which documents the tattooing practices and imagery indigenous to Morocco. The final publication review looks at the art of the Le family, a text compiled and curated by Aya Le. There are two industry features. The first is an interview with Raking Light Project, a publisher and specialty printmaker, which works in collaboration with renowned tattoo artists. The second is a first-hand account of the DSM Bulldog, one of the signature products of DSM Tattoo Machine, written by tattooist Frank Carter. This portion of the magazine concludes with a photo essay on the 2017 Bay Area Tattoo Convention. The tattoo collectors showcased by tattooism often have covetable and extensive work by major artists within the industry. But what further distinguishes these individuals is their own creative output in the field, such as fine and commercial art, design, modeling and photography. Twin collectors, Derek and Carl Wong, are both writers based in New York. Stephanie Bollum is an entrepreneur based in London. Mahi Montana and Jacuzzi are young models, musicians and skaters. Matthew William is designer of the groundbreaking clothing label Alex Studio. Maxim Ballesteros is a Berlin-based photographer. One of our most exciting features in this issue is a conversation between tattooist Ruby May Quilter and artist Patrick Church. Another is a custom editorial featuring Celine, a client of Gilles Le Tattooer, adorned in accessories by jewelry label Parts of Four. In issue 3, a special emphasis was placed on collaboration with other creators. To that end, the magazine contains custom editorials in concert with Rimowa, Dita and Hublot, as well as interviews with Jonathan Raksha, owner of Toronto Grills and Maison Raksha, and a photo essay on tattooing and fine watches. Other brands in the magazine include Tiger, Alix Studio, Champion, Cotweller, Hardcraft Co, Raking Light Project, and a special photo shoot with the accessory creator, Tac. Issue 3 contains interviews, profiles and high-quality spread from a selection of the best tattooists working today. This section of the magazine opens with a profile on Japanese tattooist Gaking, including lush monochromatic images showcasing some of his most impressive work. This is followed by a long interview with Los Angeles-based artist Clay Gibson and a profile of Austin Maples. Next is an interview with London-based Claire Francis, a tattooist, artist, design maker, producing transgressive graphical pieces. Simone De Massi is an Italian tattooist who has developed a unique take on fine line imagery. Following De Massi is an interview with the famed Thai creator of Psykians, Ajahn No Kempai, and an interview with the modern tattooist, George Bone who has run a tattoo shop in West London since 1973. Other exciting contents includes a 20-page profile on Taiwanese tattooist Diao Zero and a custom photo set with the legendary Nazarenzo Tubaro. The magazine concludes its roster of tattooists in an interview with Victor J. Webster. There are four major editorials in this issue. The first, Isa's, features the acclaimed Australian model, Kat McNeil, 
and has been put alongside an interview with McNeil and her tattooist, Bert Crack. Next is Bivo, a striking compilation featuring model Nidak Tekitot. Both are shot by photographer Dusan Railgin. 2000, photographed by Jan Foscher, is a playful series of portraits highlighting major figures in contemporary menswear. Levels, shot by Hendrik Schneider, explores streetwear thematic with an emphasis on useful androgyny. The penultimate section of the magazine consists in a series of photo essays by photographers Sven Mycard, Manuela Soto and Molly Ace. The magazine ends with a series of critical articles. The first is an investigative report by tattooist and artist Sally on hygiene and public policy in Canadian prison tattooing. Photographer Harry F. Conway is interviewed in the next piece, where he provides commentary on select shots he has taken from the streets of London. The final article of the magazine is a travel log written by Desex Tattoo, documenting his time in Burma and his numerous encounters with the indigenous women of that region, many of which are adorned with complex and elegant facial tattoos. The digital age of tattooing describes the state in which images of tattoo, of tattooing, and the aesthetic of tattoo culture circulates with degrees of intensity that are often far greater than the tattoos themselves. With this unprecedented speed of circulation comes new forms of proximity that are both geographical and temporal. Tattooism issue 3 creates and sustains a dialogue between clients and practitioners located all over the world. On another side, it looks at the digitalization of tattoo culture from the vantage point of an earlier medium. There are questions about the digitality of global tattooing that only a print magazine can answer. <laughs>